Hey everybody, and welcome back to Studio Hope. My name is Pastor Kobe, and we have my sister Elena with us again. Uh, again, we brought her because she's much better at art than I am, so she's going to be running uh, me and you through an art project, and uh, you can just watch or you can follow along with us. And if you're going to be following along, remember, first thing you need to do is you need to ask your parents, and they need to help you get set up. And so here is the list of things uh, that you're going to be needing to get set up. Uh, first thing is you're going to need something to paint on. Again, we have really big paper, so you can see, uh, but you can use any regular size paper. And then our paint colors today are light blue, uh, medium or dark green, you just don't want it really light, red, white, and black. So if you need to go back and get all those, you can. Uh, then you'll need uh, a palette. We're using this fancy palette. You can just use a paper plate, uh, anything to put your paint on as you're getting it on your brush or your finger or whatever you're using. Then uh, paint clothes or smock, something that's okay to get messy and dirty or if you end up getting paint on it by accident. Then a uh, newspaper or something to lay down on your table so you don't get your table messy. We're all set up here. we got a trash bag and our plastic on the floor. Uh, and then you want paper towels or old rags to get uh, help getting the paint off your paintbrush or your finger. And then a water cup or a water bowl to do the rinsing. So uh, if you need to go back and rewind to catch any of that, you can go ahead and do that now. And then, oh, that's right. Today, last, last time we did um, finger painting, uh, today we're going to try out brushes, uh, and if you don't have brushes, it's not a big deal. You can just do finger paint and follow along that way, um, but we're going to try it out, and uh, I feel like I'm going to be much worse at this one. So, uh, you can pause the video, get everything together, and then come back when you're ready. And with that, we're going to turn it over to Elena. Today we're going to be doing a watermelon Yum. slice, not, not just the green part. Um, so we're going to start, we're not going to start with red. We're going to start with green. Ooh. And this is a little lighter than I would have liked, so um, if you have a darker green, maybe use a darker green. And what size brush are we going for here? Um, go for your, mm, the biggest one you have, or mediumist. Or mediumist. Mediumist. Okay. So, we're going we're gonna to start with a nice arch pretty much in the middle of the paper, um, kind of like a rainbow, but less even than that. So you're going to you're gonna start around the center of um, the right side of your paper and just arch it down, whoops, better than that, pretty much down to there. Oh, right to the other, right into, pretty much to the corner? Pretty much to the corner of the other side. Oh, oh, oh no. A nice solid oh, no. line. We're in trouble already. Not very archy. Uh, how well would I be able to cover up some green <laughs> if I have some green where I don't really want any green? On the top or on the bottom? On the bottom. Uh, it can be worked with. <laughs> okay. Try to make it as dark as you can because we're using a pretty light green. Glob that on there. A lid. We're getting there. I got my structure, now I need to do the globbing. Globbing or globing? Globbing. It's, not, it's he not hemoglobin, he no, he it's he hemoglobin. He hemoglobin. <laughs> That's in your blood. That's right, these are, these are jokes that kids will definitely get. Science. Alright, I think we're pretty much good. Take your time. Uh, it's about as good as we're going to get. And I've got a lot more green in my palette. Just shellac it on there. Hmm. No, it's, my, it's me. I actually put my phone on silent this time, but that doesn't stop it from ringing. <laughs> 
Just making sure Mike didn't call me. <laughs> <laughs> Just to make sure. Okay, I think we're good. Okay, so you can rinse your brush now. <laughs> that would be a, a good, a good prank. This is a little cleaner than the finger painting, at least for my hands. Only we'll, if you want it to be. We'll see how much. We'll see if I end up dumping my palette on the floor again. Okay, now we're gonna take some white. White, but it's already white. white. <laughs> Just trust me, okay? Okay, trust the process. Yes. Now, what size brush are we doing? Mm. The same or small? No, the, I'd either the same or bigger, whatever. Okay, I'll do medium again. Okay, now you take your white. And we're going to make a really bad looking rainbow. <laughs> and we're going to do it right underneath the green. Oh dear. Try not to smear the green, but if it does, it's not the end of the world. Does that help? No. Put a line a little thicker than the green is. It's kind of covering up. You have to do extra layers of white. It will stop moving. Whoops. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. Those aren't good sounds. <laughs> see our wipe on the camera. Totally not. I can hardly see it on my canvas, so don't worry too much. It'll be important later. Give it, give it a good amount on there. Glob that one on there, too. Okay. Lots of glob, and you said a thicker line than the green. A little bit. Maybe, maybe about twice, twice as thick as the green. Twice as thick. Sorry. Okay, well that covered up better than I thought it would. Okay. It's kind of weird painting white on white. Gotta admit. I think I'm just about sufficiently globbed. Okay. Oh dear. Well, I got a glob on the floor now. Good thing we covered up. Okay, and rinse. Now we rinse. This rinse doesn't have to be as good. Oh. Just, a, just a light rinse. A light rinse? Mm hmm. Okay. Now we're taking the red. The red. Bright red. Bright. Fire truck. Fire truck red. Okay, and then we want our big brush, don't we? Um, yes. So I'm going to use the biggest brush and I'm going to put also, it's going to look like a bad rainbow, um, right underneath the white. And just do about one width of your brush all the way, all the way down. And then. We really glob it again? Yep, glob it, glob it, especially at the top. And then what I'm going to do after I have that is take a smaller brush, just for like a second. And just blend that with the white above it a little bit so that it looks kind of pinky. Oh, 
also a fade between the colors. Mm -hmm. okay, <coughs> blending with the grain around the arch? Yes. As in not like up and down, don't do like No, that looked like hair or something. <laughs> Nobody likes a hairy watermelon. No. <laughs> so blend with the arch. You can make that, that pink section as big or small as you want. I'm trying to get it to go into my white a little more. That's why I told you to glob the white so that it's still wet. Oh no, my green is dripping. Oh no. It's gonna be a juicy watermelon. <laughs> but not the part that you want to be juicy. <laughs> Okay, I don't think I'm going to make it any better than that, so we'll, we'll stay there. We'll stick with that. Okay, and then you can just fill in the rest of the bottom with your red. And that you'll probably want your biggest brush for. Uh, or if you're finger painting, your biggest finger. Your biggest finger. <laughs> I don't know, they're all pretty much the same, but... And I would keep painting with the grain of the arch just to make it look nice. textured right. Nice. Mm -hmm. Nobody likes a hairy watermelon. Nobody likes it. That's our catchphrase for today. The new theme song. I guess we'd have to sing it then. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Mike, get working on that. That's a no from my <laughs> Oh dear, I'm splattering. Oh dear. This isn't finger painting, Toby. Well, I, yeah, and that's what my, it's from my brush was flicking paint onto my palette. And so now I've got little dots of red in my other colors. Art. That's right. Just call it modern art. Abstract. So, I'm gonna want some watermelon when we're done. Too bad it's not watermelon season. Oh, that's fair. Get some foreign watermelons. Okay, I think I've got all my red in. How thick do we need our red? Depends how ripe you want your watermelon. Oh, I guess that is fair also. about that right? Huh. Ta -da. Ta -da. Faster than me today. What? You're faster than me today. Do you have a bigger brush or a smaller slice of watermelon? <laughs> that is true. Um, this is our courtesy disclaimer, reminder, do not drink your paint water. It's gross and unhealthy. Our paint water is very different colors. It is, I wonder why. Oh dear. I think you do have a bigger brush than me. Okay, what's next? Alright, what are we doing next? 
Um, so we have to let the, the red dry before we can put the seeds in it. Um, so we're just going to paint the background blue, like a sky watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite type. Or whatever color you really want to do it. You can do it yellow, purple, you know, your favorite color. Just not, you know, any of those. Okay. I like the idea of a sky watermelon. Sky watermelon. Okay, again, biggest brush or biggest finger, because we got a lot of ground to cover here. Yeah. Sky to cover here. A lot of sky watermelon. <coughs> Would you want to put clouds in the sky? Or, ooh, that sounds like a good idea. How, um, is there a grain we should be going with for the sky? Whatever you want your sky to look like. Okay. I'm just going to do regular back and forth. That's my thought as well. Horizontal. Oh dear, what? I still have some red in my brush. Rookie mistake. What, um, Bob Ross does his happy little trees. What does he do for clouds? Oh, what does he say? Um, I forget. He does say something about clouds. Kind of like fluffy. Like my fluffy hair. Fluffy hair. I don't know. Fluffy white clouds. I don't know if I like finger painting or brush painting better because the, the finger paint was kind of therapeutic. <laughs> Not that this isn't. Texture therapy. The te yeah. I think this is faster, but. I think so too. But maybe not as fun. We just we just need bristle on our fingers. So a paintbrush? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like that. <laughs> okay, now we're getting close to our our melon. Sky melon. Sky our sky melon. melon. Be a little more careful. This is the tricky part. Especially if I'm trying to keep my sky horizontal.
mistress's die. I'm trying to go over my arch to make it green horizontal. After That's what I, I sort of did. After I already got the, the detailed part in. Okay. Texture. Yes. Which is good. It'd be a boring sky if it didn't. I think we are done with our sky. My red is not dry. <coughs> Your red is not dry? Oh, well, it's it's dry enough. Dry enough? Mm -hmm. Oh! I almost spilled my water. I did spill a little bit. Spittle. <laughs> Okay, up next is seeds. 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 Little brush. Mm-hmm. Little finger. Mm-hmm. Pinky. Pinky. Need some black. It's a great noise. You gotta shake it. Like a ketchup bottle gets really deep. <laughs> Okay, you only need a little bit of black because there's only a few seeds in watermelon, hopefully, unless you get seen this. Okay, so there's a couple different ways you could do this. You could just make them um, dots, or you can make them look like little raindrops, which is like the actual, sh actual shape of them. Um, depends how advanced you want to go. Um, so I'm going to make them look like little raindrops just for whoever is. I want to I wanna be the most advanced. Oh, do you? But I have to watch you first. So you can just put them wherever you want. doesn't really matter where, but just down in this red part, not up in the white part. Um, okay, kind of ovally. Kind of ovally. I don't really have a small enough brush to, to make it look any better than that, but you know. Camera, we just had a rooster crow out the window. <laughs> That's a bigger seed. You can make them as random or organized as you want. Going for a little bit of both. Still kind of going for an arch pattern. Oh, that one's only so far. It's probably in the way of the camera. Do, do, do. Speed seed. Oh my. Sounds dangerous, doesn't it? Does. It does. I think it's working pretty well. For some reason, I decided to make them very organized. Because, you know, that's how every watermelon looks. Nature. I think I did all that with only one dip of my brush. No, you did it wrong. Oh, okay, cool. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm happy with it. Looks watermelonish. Watermelon-esque. Okay. Do you want to put clouds in the sky? Yes, I want to put clouds in the sky. Okay. My white kind of has other colors in it, but I guess so do clouds. Well, oh, my red went all up in my white. 
Looks like long. I have to get another thing of white. Are we doing big clouds, little clouds? Or uh, maybe we just want whatever texture? Whatever you want. I was actually going to use the rag. Oh, well, we're getting fancy now. Yeah, so if you have like a paper towel or something, you could use that. Um, or a rag, you probably don't have a rag. Or you could just use your finger. When in doubt, use your finger. <laughs> Do you want to do the same one? Or Maybe just draw a little in there. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, it is glummy. Okay. Okay. How are we using? How are we use this? Um. I'm like, I'm I'll just bunch, just kind of bunch it up. Oh. We don't, you don't have if your you finger inside of it? If you want to use your finger inside of it, you can. Okay, I'll bunch it. I'll bunch it. I'll follow just instructions. Just bunch it up. I have no idea how this is actually going to work. To have a smooth surface? Um, or a rough. You don't have to. It doesn't really matter. Smooth or rough, however you want your, your clouds to look. Dip that baby in there. Okay. Uh, another disclaimer. Do not dip real babies in paint. Sorry. I need to choose my words wisely. <laughs> Dip this rag thing in the paint. Maybe don't do it so... How much? Kind of like wipe it off. I, you don't want it like super wet. And then um, let, let your heart lead you. Oh no. Oh, maybe is my blue dry? Dry enough. Maybe check your blue before you go in case it's still. I changed my mind. You want a smooth surface. Oh, you want a smooth surface. Probably. And we're we're dabbing, not. Um, dab. Do not wipe. Do not wipe. Dab. Dab. Nice fluffy cloud. Sky watermelon. Mm-hmm. Oh, the other one's wetter. I guess we'll just have to do a bigger cloud. Well, this one's going to go off the edge. I like the cloud process. Makes me feel like I'm better at this than I am. Hmm. Put your clouds wherever you want. Wherever big or small. How many clouds are you doing? You're supposed to listen to your heart, Cody. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot about that. Do however many clouds your heart wants. My heart wants lots of clouds. It's a cloudy day. Listening. What does your heart say? My heart says one more cloud. One more cloud. Where though? <laughs> um, um, just a uh, um, just a little baby one. We'll do it like a really little baby one. We'll do this nice and dry. Baby cloud. Boom. Oh. 
Okay, done. Plows are done. Painting done? Not until we sign it. Oh, right, right. You can either sign in the watermelon or like in the corner over here or in the top. You can sign the top too. Might do the top right's the best spot. Yeah, I don't have a window. Use a little, littlest brush. Littlest pinky. Oh, I got blue on my finger. This is not going to be good. Why not? Because I don't have a small enough brush. Well, we did our finger last time, so... Too bad. That looks terrible. It looks like the angry eyebrows. The veggie tails? The veggie tails. No, Larry Boy. Larry, Larry, Larry mm -hmm. Boy, specifically. Mm -hmm. Looks like the angry eyebrows. My M looks like the angry eyebrows. Okay, there it is. Ready to do the reveal? Sure. Where's my brush real quick? I think ours are a little uh, close, looking more similar this time than they were last time. Mm-hmm. Are you, here it is for, for the camera, and here it is for Elena. Wow, yeah, wow, it does look it's, it's pretty close. Pretty much the same. I have denser clouds than you, you have do. Denser. Yeah, mine are pretty wispy. Mm -hmm. That's all I'm still getting paint on. But you know. What have we got? I need to go over here. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm going to get paint everywhere. Still messing with Mike. Okay. There you go. Oh, there's the camera stand. Good thing the camera's not on. Cheese for some Um, Very nice. So, um, well, I hope you guys enjoyed painting with us, or at least watching, um, and I hope you uh, don't get paint everywhere like I did. Um, a big thank you to Elena for coming out and teaching us, and until uh, next time, remember, God is good, love you, miss you, and hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye. Yes!